Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to look at earned value analysis, a quick, short look at it. So on the screen, I've got the earned value table. So I'll just go and get it again for you. So I'll show you where it is. It's in more tables at the bottom here. And there it is, earned value, apply. Now I've also inserted the percentage complete and duration fields just to make this a little bit easier so that is insert column and then you pick the one you want you don't want any of those so i'm going to create one task task a it's going to be a one day duration task and then i'm going to assign a resource to it so a resource sheet bob he's going to be on 10 pound an hour come back to the gantt chart and assign bob resources at the top assign resources assign bob close that so what you need to do now is save a baseline for this to work and i'm going to do that so project set baseline set baseline okay and then these columns get filled in so what have we got here so uh, we've got this first one planned value so baseline cost work scheduled that means or budgeted cost work schedule, should I say. And this is budgeted cost work performed, so planned, earned, actual cost work performed, then scheduling variance in um, cost terms, and cost variance. So if you've got a, an additional resource to come on, how does that impact? So that would be to do with time increasing. If you get this task is one day at the moment, but if it goes to two days, that will impact this field. And then estimated at completion, your baseline cost, and then the variance, how much off plan were you? So all of these you can go into help and get some more information on. Help gives you um, a bit more information in terms of examples and best uses and things like that. But these little short tips are quite useful as well. So let's see how this is going to work then. So if I put this one day task at 10% complete, let's see what figures get filled in. So we've earned £8, that's right. Actual cost is £8. We're £72 to go. And that cost variance hasn't changed because we have not added an extra resource. Everything else is the same. Okay, let's change the duration to two days so that if I change that to two days, now you get um, the cost variance field coming up. If I go back up and change this to um, 20%, that went back down to 5%, but if I put it to 20%, you can see that the cost variance field is now changing because the duration has changed and we've got a person on it, a resource on it that we didn't plan to have, and also the scheduling variance has changed because uh, of that incurred extra cost now if i add another person that's going to make it even worse so if i go down and add bill he's on 10 pound an hour go back to the gantt chart so assign him assign him to the same task assign oh close that so you've got two people on. So now when you start increasing this, these figures should start changing quite a lot. So it's got a 50% complete. So now it's costing us cost variance. If I put that back on there so you can see what that means, earned value, cost variance. The difference between how much it should have cost and how much it is costing. The difference between um, the current progress and the baseline plan of tasks. So... These two fields are telling you um, if you're incurring any additional costs. Now, if I delete all this off, if I put that back to zero, uh, put that back to one day, we've still got a scheduling variance because of bill. I take bill off, kill bill. So bill's no longer part of this. Um, everything is gone back to zero. Um, cost variance, I should have said not scheduling variance, that's still £80 to spend. So if I start spending this, if I've got 
that goes to 40. If I go to 100%, that should go to zero because everything's on ta on target. Everything's as it should be. No va no variance at completion. So if I put that back down to zero, so everything's okay. But if I extend this, so if I extend this to two days, we've now got that's the estimated completion. We've got an eighty pound variance. This uh, cost thing hasn't been added to yet. I'll go 10, 20%, doesn't matter what I put in here really. Now it's starting to impact on that. If I add, if I put this, I'll leave that as it. If, if I then go and create another person, bill again at £10. So this is what happens in a project anyhow. You're going to get these uh, additions during the project or it could be the other way around, you're losing resources, so it's going to impact you. So you're just using this table um, to give you some idea of where you should be and where you, and if you're on, on target or not. So the variance at this, now, at this stage now with me doing that is 176 quid. So your, your baseline cost was 80. Now you estimated to spend 256 and you've got a variance of that now if I put this to three days that's going to put that back down I'll put it back to 50% on three days you can see it's in costing even more okay so if we have a quick look at some of the other earned value tables so I'll put this back to zero and one day so We've got a still got a variance of forty eight pounds. Now, if I go up to the view tables, tables, more tables, you've got cost indicators. So I'll apply that one. So you've got this TCPI field, which is the ratio of work remaining to be done and the funds remaining to be spent. And there's a formula for that at the bottom. You've also got this um, this percentage field. Now let's just have a look at this. So um, I just need to insert those fields again. So let me insert the duration field, duration, and the percent is complete as well. So if I knock Bill off, I don't need to delete him. Do I? I just need to. Um, remove him from this and remove bill for now okay so if I start completing this what's happening here so if I do 40% of let's do 50% so it's still a one-day task 50% done We've got a CPI of one cost performance index one so that's bang on schedule now um, if I Change that to two days. Now we're getting, we're behind schedule. So a, a, a number less than one means we're behind schedule. You know, we're 100% one, one CV percent there. That's 100% behind schedule because it's two days. And this, if this is over one, you are ahead of schedule. But that is obviously telling you what that impact is. So these, these tables are, Great little tools to look at. You don't have to bring all the table in. You can just bring maybe uh, this one in or that one in maybe. Just insert it into another table, into your cost table, and then you get a bit of an eyeball of what's going on on your project. And the other, the other one, I'll just quick put it on the screen. I'm not going to go through it. Is, is the schedule indicators. And you can see it's already showing negatives there. Not as much stuff, but you've got a a negative in terms of schedule in there so this is the ratio of schedule variance to budgeted cost of work scheduled expressed as a percentage so you're behind schedule basically and that's the same thing only this wants to be a positive as well all right so that's a quick look at earned value tables hopefully that was of use to you and i'll see you in the next one